what I'd like to talk to you today about uh, is inflation and, uh, and what inflation has to do with oil prices. The Americans have a view of uh, the Saudis and OPEC and other oil producers is that uh, uh, inflation happens because uh, the Saudis and the, the Kuwaitis and other put up oil uh, prices and then that generates US inflation. But it's really interesting that uh, when you talk to the Saudis and the Kuwaitis, uh, their view is uh, entirely reverse. And it may be, uh, in fact, because of uh, uh, how they decided back in the day to uh, peg their currencies. Saudi Arabian Rial, uh, the, the official currency of Saudi Arabia, is pegged directly to the US dollar. It doesn't float up and down like the Australian dollar does. If we have uh, uh, a problem uh, with uh, the level of import prices into Australia, we can put up interest rates, which will generate a higher level of the Australian dollar, which uh, decreases th those import prices and decreases Australian inflation. But the Saudis can't do anything like that because since, uh, really back since September 1990, they have fixed their currency directly to a specific level of the US dollar. And uh, that is 375 Saudi rials, which is their currency to the US dollar. So what that means is that if prices are going up uh, in the United States and they're importing much of their stuff, uh, their, their uh, oil equipment and uh, consumer goods from the United States, their inflation in Saudi Arabia will go up in line with US inflation. So what they have to do is that they have to uh, produce oil at a price of the same or a higher level uh, than that CPI. Um, so from the Saudi point of view, it is the Americans who are causing the inflation that, they ha that forces them uh, to put up the oil price. Currently, if we look at where inflation is and where uh, and look at the average oil price for this century, we find the average annual oil, uh, oil price is about $85 a barrel. Now, that's a bit higher than most Americans think. That means that in the long term, uh, as long as the US price level goes up, uh, that uh, the oil price has to go up with that. And that might explain a little bit of why the Saudis are doing what they're doing this year uh, in reducing uh, the supply of oil. Um, we've said in a previous uh, talk that uh, the acceleration of oil prices that happened um, at, right up to the middle of 2020, which people associate with the beginning of uh, the um, um, the war in Ukraine was really more about the recovery of world demand as we uh, opened up again after the pandemic. That generated a situation where demand was rising higher, higher than supply. And when there's that gap with demand higher than supply, uh, then that, what that does is that reduces the available stocks of oil and those low stocks of oil drive up the price. Now, that was what was happening. Uh, up until June um, 2022. Uh, up until, if we look at the, the level of shortage uh, of oil, um, quarter by quarter during that period, what we find is that uh, back in the first quarter of 2021, uh, there was about 1.7 million barrels a day more of demand uh, than there was of supply. That actually increased uh, by... Um, the third quarter of 2021 to about 2.3 million barrels a day, more of demand than there was of supply. And then that drove up price. Uh, and, the, and the quarter after that is when demand actually peaked relative to supply at about 2.8 million barrels. And as a result of that, stocks kept falling and the price kept rising. Um, that situation came to an end in July 2022, uh, only last year, when for the first time there was just slightly more supply available relative to demand. And that situation of excess supply 
continued until about uh, the end of the first quarter of this year and stocks rose and prices came down. But now what's happened is uh, two things have happened. Firstly, demand uh, for oil has, is increasing. That's really because uh, the International Energy Agency tells us this is the, because of the, of the return of uh, oil demand in China back to the long-term trend. And uh, the result of that is uh, that this year, uh, the increase, that increase in uh, demand back to long-term trend means that uh, the Chinese demand for jet fuel has increased by a little over 60%. In Australia, interestingly, at the same time, it's increased by a little over 50%. And um, uh, uh, as that increases, uh, that demand increases, it's increasing faster than supply. Now, the Saudis, in addition to that, uh, because uh, they wanted the oil price to catch up with inflation, they've reduced for a period of about a quarter, they've reduced their production by about a million barrels a day. And what that means is that right here, right now, in this quarter, uh, the world is short of oil relative, uh, of the supply is short relative to demand by 2.1 million barrels a day. We are back in the situation uh, where there is not enough oil to, to satisfy demand. Uh, for every 1% of, uh, of shortage uh, in, in oil, the price will go up by about 12%. So with uh, 2 million barrels a day, a bit over 2 million barrels a day, we expect the price to go up by about 25 some percent. And uh, what our modeling tells us is that the oil price should go up of Brent oil uh, should go up from uh, where it is now, about $80 a barrel uh, in the final quarter of this year, should go up to about $95 a barrel, and the quarter after that should go up to about $120 a barrel. And, um, and that's because of this shortage of, uh, of supply relative to demand. Fortunately, by the time we get to next year, the International Energy Agency tells us by the middle of next year, uh, supply will have caught up with demand, and that means that prices can come down a bit, probably be from around about 120 to about 90 next year. But um, there's two things uh, that we learned. Firstly, the Saudis, by producing a bit less oil, are trying to get the price up to a level uh, that, that, they, uh, that is equal to the level that they are experiencing from the increasing uh, US prices because they're fixed to the US dollar. They can't get away from US inflation. They want to price the oil in line with the increases in US inflation. That's why they're doing what they're doing. In the, for the very short time, this price is, is going to generate a significant kick in the oil in, uh, in oil prices, which will take it to about $120 a barrel uh, before it stabilizes in a range between 120 and 90. But for the next couple of quarters, we're going to have a stronger oil price. And for some, it's going to be a surprisingly wild ride.